So I'm back, and today we're going to be taking a look at a new box set that I just got in. It's the Tape Corpse Tape Deformation from uh, THF Toy House Factory. Uh, so it's a knockoff of the MP cassettes. Now before we look at the figures themselves, um, you know, I got this from TF Direct. Um, this is not a plug for TF Direct, I'm just... I just like to explain, it, you know, things like this. It was $35 shipped from China. Or wherever their factory is, or wherever their location is. I don't know. Uh, overseas, anyway. And it said that it wasn't going to be released till the end of May. Uh, so I had ordered it. And I got it um, at my post office uh, two, three days ago. Uh, no, Saturday. So it took about two and a half weeks for it to get from them to me. Um, and because I accidentally did post office instead of my work address, it added like two days on. So let's call it two weeks. So two weeks from China or, or wherever that that for me that's insane that that was crazy crazy fast shipping for free shipping I mean I ordered something um, from this company called Mierce Miniatures or Mierce I don't know how they want it pronounced um, it took them a month and a half just to ship it and it took about a month to get here, and they're from the UK. So it was a very sh long wait for the those things. But um, anyway, uh, so yeah, very quick shipping. Uh, kudos to them for that. Um, now, they didn't have much of a description in, in the item, you know, description for this set. Um, but from what I read, a lot of people are saying that they're, they were smaller than the MP cassettes. They would not work with your MP sound wave. I don't have an MP sound wave, so we can't show that off. Um, and all, all that kind of th stuff. So we'll get the box out of the way. And here are all the cassettes. Um, but they're the same size as MP cassettes. Uh, I mean, I don't... Like I said, I don't have a sound wave, so I can't show it off. So here's Frenzy. Usually mine's all chewed up. Um, but you can see they're about the same size. I would say this is just a hair bigger. Um, but it's it's a very minuscule difference. So I'm going to try, since I don't have a sound wave, to try to put those in. I'll try and yeah, see if it's in there just fine. So I would assume that they're going to work with your your MP sound wave without a problem. Um, which was kind of a bummer because I was kind of wanting a smaller set. So it comes with um, Rat Bat, Rumble, and Frenzy. Ravage, Laser Beak, and Buzzsaw. So we'll transform them all real quick and I'll go over a few things that I've noticed with them. Um, so Buzzsaw will start us off. So we just, you know, flip it all out. We've seen this transformation many times. It's nothing different. Uh, the beak, the head part, does not come out as easy as the official. I'm trying to find a little tool to get in there, but I can't seem to find one. Now, 
Now these back pieces here, they do not seem to sit as flush as the official version. It is a KO, so you're going to get one of those. Uh, it, it could go either way. There we go. I kind of got it. All the joints seem uh, pretty tight on that. And then this does fold up for that little camera gimmick. So that does it. That is there. Um, plastic quality on all these guys, um, from what I can tell, is closer. Yeah, this little wing here is a little loose. Uh, it the, the plastic quality is a little closer to what I'd say uh, more of a Make Toys and Fans Project feel. So it's um, hard to explain. Um, it's not quite as soft feeling as like an official one. Uh, like. I guess soft isn't quite the best word. Uh, refined. Like, this plastic is refined. It's really nice. It it feels good. It's a hand. This is, this feels a little, um, best way I could drive it, describe it is sharper. Like, it hasn't been quite so refined. You see paint is really poor on these. It's like, it's like they had a template, but they kind of tilted it slightly so it doesn't quite fit in perfectly. Uh, you can see like even the black tip there. Just all around not the greatest paint job. Uh, and this one, I looked at this earlier. So he does have the little fold out nose here, just like the MP one does. Well, when you fold it in, it won't go flush. It sticks out just a little bit, so you actually have to leave it out for tape mode. Let me just transform them. Again, nothing, nothing really new here. And like I said, you know, one of the main reasons why I got it is because people were saying this was a smaller version of the MP, MP cassettes, and I was like, that could work uh, for the for my Siege figures, um, but since it's not, uh, some of these won't work for what I was hoping, uh, which kind of sucks, but, you know, whatever. Uh, this leg is, seems a little loose. But overall, again, uh, mostly the joints are pretty tight. I, I don't know what happened to my MP Ravage. He, he was super loose, too, anyway. So. Let's do him. So. Overall, paint's looking okay. I know this company did do a, a knockoff of the MP Soundwave, which, you know, is... That, to me, that one was, is... I always say, you know, KO, KO with a purpose. Um, and there is... I, I can sit here and I make, can make an argument for this, for the MP cassettes being KO'd, uh, and I will... I don't know, few minutes here but um but that that one just an mp sound wave that one's not i wouldn't say that's a pur with a purpose that's just that's just a knockoff uh so it's not uh i was about to give this guy a clean bill but uh this wing joint kind of is popping out but Okay, that's not 
not so great. Um, but as far as the cassettes go, uh, so let's say you were in the market to buy MP cassettes. Like, why is this? Why would getting MP cassettes be with a purpose when all of these things were released? Well, the Laserbeak was only available with the Soundwave. So if you just wanted Laserbeak, but you didn't want the Soundwave, you had to spend $150 to get this Laserbeak. Um, that's for the Takara pricing. I know Hasbro was $150 as well, but he um, he came with all the cassettes except for Ratbat. And the only way to get Ratbat was to buy Sound Blaster, which is, again, another $150 or so. So it's like... I could understand getting the KO on these particular guys, you know, on those guys. So, like, if, for example, if you could only get this in a set, then then that's the only way you can get them. Um, so, th like I said, this set was $35, so about 6 bucks a tape. Uh, that's not too bad. Um, face is a little muted. And there's, you can see paint slop or didn't paint it well enough or something going on there. Uh, back of the head, kind of same deal. And it's really hard to tell, but you can see, like, this is the official. So if you look into the waist, there's that sculpted detail in there. But if you look into this waist, it's just a red piece of plastic. So the detail's been taken out a little bit on these guys as well. Last one. Their hands do not come out as easy as the official either. All right, so there they all are um, in their robot modes. He seems a little on the loose side. Uh, they do come with the pile drivers. Haven't really messed with these yet. So you got the little backpack piece here that I think goes in like this. So if you want to store, them, store it on the back, you can. So that works. Come on. <laughs> All right. Let's see if these plug into his back. They do. That one's a little loose. I don't like that. That's actually pretty loose. I think it'll stay, but I don't. I don't necessarily like it down and we'll see if he plugs into his hand. That's no problem. And no problem. Alright. So it all seems to work. And then holding the hand up. We'll just try it on one of them so we can just move along. Hmm. Doesn't seem to really want to be locking in.
Nope. Doesn't seem to really want to go lock in. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. It's been a while. Let's see here. This is the official. In just like that. Let's try it again. No. Alright, so at least on this one that does not lock in. <clears throat> oh, so they're different colors. I think this was actually the Hasbro version, so that might be why, but I like this color color better. Anyway, um, alright. So, we don't really need to go over posability, because we've already seen that before. <clears throat> I just want to transform them so that we can see if there's any issues going on. And we did. We, we found some issues. So, for $35, you know, this the set's not that bad. Um, however, um, you know, for what I'm, what I was hoping for, which was a little bit smaller, um, you know, I didn't, I didn't get what I wanted. Um, and this one, this one's loose too. This one seems to be a little tighter, but this one's... Okay. So the Rumble and Frenzy, I, I would say, aren't aren't worth anything. Uh, the best ones are are these guys, uh, Laser Beacon Buzzsaw, although the paint apps have issues. Um, Ravage is pretty decent. Uh, Rat Bat is good. Um, but for me, like I was going for something to go with my Siege Soundwave. Now, I have a Rumble of Frenzy, so, but these two these two scale wise work. Um, they have some QC issues, so if you can live with that, I think it will work. Because um, I always said these guys were too small. I said it before it was cool um, <laughs> that I thought these MP, the MP cassettes were too small for MP Soundwave and they were better set for uh, chug scale. Uh, but nobody listened to me until you know, MMC did it, and then MMC did it, and everyone's like, oh yeah, that's a great idea. Um, I think the birds are a little too big for, for chug scale. I mean, it looks okay, but it definitely looks like they're a little on the big side. Um, but see, if they would have downsized them just a little bit, we could have had the, the cassettes fit into them. I, and I think that would have been a much more needed scale because the legends ones that are coming out don't look so great so these guys don't look like they work too well oh, rat bat again i think he's a little too big so these guys i would say too big the ravage looks good uh and in, in chug scale so ultimately um uh, for the set i'm going to give it a four out of ten. I, I'd say, I mean, it's it's okay if you happen to have missed the official releases and you absolutely have to have some representation on the on the shelf. But it also would have been better years ago. Uh, now that MMC has done these guys and Ravage in a bigger format, those are better suited for MP. Um, and then Laser Beak and Buzzsaw and Ratbat, I think they're fine as is for M MP. Um, I would have liked these a little bit smaller for Chug. So, ultimately, I'd say that the set, you know, like I said, if, if you're needing an MP tape set, or if that size difference is okay for you for Chug, 
Then I say pick it up if you don't already have it. There's nothing here that would make me say, oh yeah, go ahead and replace your existing uh, tapes. Uh, outside of that, it's a, you know, if, if you're going into that idea, it's a real easy pass. Uh, there is nothing here that's that's new or revolutionary that's like, oh my god, this is this is great. I know the Rat Bat, um, when they first KO'd him, uh, he was gone for about $25 shipped. Um, but ultimately, I would say these guys aren't, aren't really worth it to, to pick up. Um, I'd say pass. Uh, yeah, definitely a pass. I will say, you know, I get to have two sets of his guns, though. So that's that's kind of neat. Uh, they they don't fit as easily or as well into his hands as like his, but he can't hold them. So if you want you want that look, that's that's what I'm getting out of this this set and the ravage. That's all I'm really getting out of this set. So uh, I guess that's it. Um, let me know. Let's let's see. Question for the day. Um, do you do any of you guys have uh, KOs that you bought that you were hoping would be really good, but then turn out that they weren't? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm I'm not overly fond of this purchase, so I don't have buyer's remorse. At least I had something to look at. But yeah, there's there's really nothing nothing good here, <laughs> ultimately. So, I, I would say pass. Pass unless you absolutely need it. Um, but still, there's there's better options out there for MP. And they're re reissuing Soundwave now, so I'm sure it's only a matter of time before we get a reissue of the the rest of the tapes, and maybe finally we'll get a sound um, a Rat Bat released individually. But I wouldn't hold my breath on that one. So yeah, uh, I guess that is, I guess that's it.